What's up everyone? I recorded this video on Thursday, October 14th, 2021. It's 3.33 p.m., 79 Fahrenheit, 26 Celsius. I'm here in Pier 17 at the South Street Seaport. This is a special exhibit, the Pumpkin Arch, located at the Heineken River Deck. It's proving pretty popular with the locals already. Got a nice view of the East River with the Brooklyn Bridge in the background. There's Dumbo Brooklyn Bridge Park in the distance. And in this video, I'll be walking from the South Street Seaport all the way to Chinatown. Got some great views of uh, East River here with this in the background. So we got some fake pumpkins and some real ones in here. Also ones that are painted, but the paint's coming off of that one. Let's get going. This Pier 17 is a very good place to come and hang out. Not too many people know about it. But there are several restaurants inside the Pier 17 area. There's also a rooftop bar here. This is Malibu Farm. Great views of New York City from the Malibu Farm. I think this Momofuku is recently opened. There's Mr. Dips. I think it's a uh, ice cream spot. No, wait a second. We can kind of see the menu from here. Soda floats, choco pudding pop, dairy dips. Interesting. They also got burgers as well. And they got swag bag if you want to get merchandise. Neat. Many old timers in New York will remember this mall as, I mean, this uh, area as the location of the old South Street Seaport Mall. But now we have the Pier 17. Got some great views as of the Lower Manhattan Financial District skyline. This boat straight ahead of me is a 1885 cargo ship, the location of a uh, the South Street Seaport Museum.
This area was heavily damaged many years ago during Superstorm Sandy, but it's good to see that tourism is slowly coming back to the area. This is the South Street Historic District, along with Fulton Street. This building here is the Fulton Market. A lot of seafood was uh, exchanged over here, the Fulton Fish Market. And this was also the location of Robert Fulton steam ferries to Brooklyn. There's also a Fulton Street in Brooklyn. The two Fulton Streets uh, connect with one another via the waterway. When the steam fo uh, boat ferry was launched, they were considered New York City's first commuters between the city of Brooklyn and the city of New York. It's good to see that the South Street Seaport decorates this area every now and then and then for uh, special events. Last time I came here, they were doing something for, uh, I think it was some kind of art exhibit near Water Street. Here's the main building of the South Street Seaport Museum. Nice open bar right in the middle of uh, the South Street Seaport District. approaching Water Street now. This is where I'll be making a right. We'll be passing right under the Brooklyn Bridge and into Chinatown. On the way, we'll also walk through part of the Two Bridges neighborhood. Here's the Titanic Memorial Lighthouse. This lighthouse was moved. It was originally above the East River. This building over here is also part of the South Street Seaport Museum. Lots of history here with the shipbuilding and the seafood industry.
also before Manhattan was uh, extended with landfill, this street here, Water Street, used to be the water line. Everything to the east of us is new land that was uh, put in and made to make the island larger. I'm going to make a little bit of a detour here, walk one block this way, just so we can see more of Water Street. It's funny because it's known as Water Street from here onto the south, but then when it gets to Beekman, it changes names to Pearl Street. But Water Street actually continues over here. So this is the new water line, or the old water line of uh, the island. Pearl Street is named because there was the beach there and you could find pearls. Here you can see the map. You see here, this is where I was. Uh, Pier 17, Fulton went past the Titanic Memorial Lighthouse. And you see here, this is Water Street, but then when you get to Beekman, it turns into Pearl. So I'm gonna go up this way and then make a left. Going this way, we can see a lot of the historic buildings of the South Street Seaport area. Here we've got Peck Slip. Before this used to be a body of water with uh, access points on either side. So ships could come in and uh, people could offload the supplies pretty easily. That's the function of the old slips that were once here. also the Mark Joseph Steakhouse. Don't really know how uh, well this steakhouse is, how good it is, I mean. So this ramp over here is the exit ramp, or maybe it's the entrance ramp to the, um, the Brooklyn Bridge from the FDR Drive. I think it is the entrance ramp. 
the one going up, the one going down is the exit ramp. And this is the Brooklyn Bridge over here at the top. Right now, the Brooklyn Bridge is undergoing some renovations to the, the towers. Recently, it also had its uh, bike lane reconfigured. Seems like a happy dog. Hello. very complicated intersection. This is the entrance ramp to the FDR Drive. My goodness, scary here. I hate this intersection so much. There's no light at all. Alright, I'm gonna go. to wait for the light again. Guess I'll cross now. Partially, anyway. This here is the Two Bridges neighborhood. Named because it's located between the Brooklyn and Manhattan bridges. Along the east coast of Manhattan.
this entire complex. To the left of me is the headquarters of the New York City Police Department at one police plaza. Wonder how this Checkers restaurant is. You don't really see these too often in New York City. This over here to my right is Madison Street. Continues further into the two bridges. But Chinatown is straight ahead of me. In another block, I'll be reaching the Confucius Plaza um, area and Kim Lao Square. There's multiple names for it. Confucius Plaza is the one further up, but the official name is Chatham Square. There's also Kim Lao Square. But I think there's like five different streets that intersect at that square. Hey, what's up? Good. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. I, uh, you're the first one who got me started with the uh, with uh, this touring the city and <laughs> everywhere else. But you're the, uh, as they say, you're the chief, man. Thanks, man. It's really nice seeing you, you know? Yeah. I, you can recognize you from a mile away. How you been? Very good, yeah. Good. yeah you Taking a little walk today. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. No, it's very nice. I yeah. I give a thumbs up to you because... Uh, about, but mm -hmm. you've turned a lot of people on to this Thanks, stuff, yeah. Really, I mean, it's very, very generous of you. And you're all over the place, you know? So, yeah. Very good. Doing Lower East Side now? Um, I started from the South Street Seaport. Oh, There's yeah. like a pumpkin arch there. It's gorgeous. A pumpkin? Yeah. A giant pumpkin or what? A pumpkin arch. Oh! Yeah. Wow. You should check it out. Yeah, yeah, I will. I'm right here, so might as well. Yeah, Pier 17 is right there oh great great yeah well, listen let me not hold you up here i'm sure where are you gonna walk up to harlem now no yeah. <laughs> chinatown or poughkeepsie perhaps yeah. <laughs> you go far man yeah you got some energy anyway nice seeing you let me see not you hold man you up. take care no problem well, that was cool Here's a little bit of a confusion. We've got James Street and St. James Place. I wonder if it's the same uh, same James. But we're in the Chatham Square area now and the beginning of Chinatown.
is the St. James Triangle. Beautiful art mural. There's actually a few new places I want to show you that opened up in Chinatown. I'll be walking all the way to Canal Street. So here it is, Chatham Square. Busy intersection and plaza. Great statue of Lin Zesu, but the statue of Lin Zesu as well as the Kim Lao uh, Memorial here is under urgent repairs or in need of urgent repairs from the city which own these. Okay, I think I'll go really quickly. This place here, Dim Sum Palace, new restaurant. That used to be another um, seafood restaurant, I believe. But that one closed uh, last year just due to economic hardship and tough times. But it's good to see new restaurants opening where older ones have closed up. It's just one of the um, many things that you notice in New York City, long time favorite restaurants and places sometimes they don't make it and they don't stay there for for long that's why i always say if you enjoy going to a place you go there you patronize them and you help keep them in business dim sum palace grand opening on dim sum 20 percent off before 3 p.m Yeah, when the seafood restaurant was here, I remember there used to be two levels and uh, it was a frequent place to go and get uh, wedding receptions done. Now we're going to make a left on Doya Street. Doya Street is one of my favorite streets in New York City. It goes at a strange little curve. And they've also lightened it up with some nice murals and uh, lanterns. Also here we've got a beautiful mural of photographer and civil rights activist Corky Lee who unfortunately um, lost his life due to COVID 
earlier on, um, I believe last year. I think there's a beautiful tribute to uh, his life over here. The artist even uh, used the same colors as like a Ming Dynasty vase. Now this over here, the Nam Hua Tea Parlor, is the oldest dim sum restaurant in Chinatown. They even kept the old uh, signage up. I love this mural of Andoya Street as well. Also, there's now lanterns on Pell Street. There didn't used to be uh, murals here before. It's also one of the tiniest streets in New York City. Small sidewalk. So this restaurant here, the House of Joy restaurant, is also new. Hey, Hi, what's you? up? I'm good. Beautiful. Yeah, I know. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Bye. So I was saying, uh, the House of Joy restaurant, it's a brand new restaurant, used to be known as uh, Delight 28. And that Delight 28 restaurant was here for a long time. I even went to that restaurant for many occasions, including uh, funeral dinners. But House of Joy looks very inviting. It looks a lot brighter than the old restaurant I remember. So they have dim sum available, duck, Looks like it's a uh, Cantonese restaurant. Lots of options available. Plenty of seafood, that's for sure. Also, the uh, prices seem comparable to what you'd find in other Chinese restaurants in uh, Chinatown. Yeah, it looks very nice in there. The same layout as the uh, old restaurant that was here, but a lot brighter now. Looks um, a lot more modern. I wish them the best of luck. And now we're on Mott Street. Mott Street along with Pell are the origins of Manhattan's Chinatown. Actually, Mott Street seems uh, quite busy right now.
Someone's clearly happy. I wonder what's going to happen to uh, Ming Wong Restaurant. They've been closed for a while now. Oh no, something is happening in Chinatown and I don't like the looks of it. And that is across the street, there's, there's scaffolding up on the corner, the dreaded scaffolding all along the outside of the On Long building, the On Long Merchants Association. Well, I wonder how long this is gonna stay up and I hope it doesn't stay up for too long because it is unsightly. But anyway, I am going to end my video here, walking from the South Street Seaport to Chinatown. If you enjoyed this video, then smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.